So I'm going to walk you through this so you can see what I'm doing here. Now they say you've read the same articles I have. No check engine light, crank, no start. First thing, go to the computer, which is fuse number 37. Check 37. It's fine. Then if fuse 37 is fine and we got power there, then they say go to the relay. The relay is right there, the 428 we changed. Now I open this harness here because going to the relay is, we have the red and white is power in. The red and white is power from fuse 37. Then we have coming out of the relay, this violet wire is the power to the computer. This black and violet wire goes to number six on the coil harness. Then it backtracks up to the throttle body. So if the fuse is good, you still got no computer, they're saying change the relay. We've changed the relay. We have power, the relay is working, so we have power at the fuse, we have power at the relay. This is our purple wire going to the computer. And you'll see I've got it pinned right there in the harness. That's the harness to the back of the computer. So then when I come in here, I'm grounded out. And when I turn this on, computer's not plugged in. I'm in that purple wire coming from the relay. Socket number 21 on that plug. And when I turn my meter on, I got 12 volts there. Well, that's what your battery, 11.78. So I have power through the fuse, through the relay, to the computer. And to show you, if I go down here and, and I start and they say if the fuse, if you don't have that, check the fuse. So if I pull this fuse to make sure I'm on the right circuit and everything, number, uh, what was that, 37 I believe. It's a 10 amp fuse. There's a 20 in here, but see, now I got no, comp no power at the computer. So if I put that fuse back in, oh, I missed it. Put that fuse back in. So now I got power at the computer. So that eliminates everything. Well, with the fuse or with the relay or the wire from the relay to the computer. Because I have power right at the plug. So now what I want to check is that black and purple wire. That should come on with the relay when I turn the key on. Evidently... The positive wire to the computer off the relay is a constant power. So I want to check the black and purple wire at the coil. And I want to check it at the throttle body. But we have power to the computer. The computer's not plugged in, but... That sort of, like I said, eliminates everybody's, you know tail chasing the dog with the fuse the wire from the fuse to the relay the relay or the wire from the relay to the computer that all checks out because I got power here and if I interrupt that power by pulling the fuse it's gone so we have power to that plug plugging into the back of the ECM So if I come out here to the coil, um, that other wire comes from the relay. We know this wire from the relay is working. It's powering all the way to the computer. So here's this other one. And this other one goes to the coil. The, the diagram shows this goes to the coil and to the throttle body, which I don't, I've got a ton of purple wires here, but no purple and black or black and purple. But I, I have followed it through. It comes out the harness over here. And it goes to the coil number six. So if I tap that number six, you're going to see I got bolts up here. 
on the plug. I just barely bumped the plug. I'm not stuck into it. I'm just touching it. So I got my volts, my power from that relay, that 428, down through here to my coil. And I have the same power to the ECM. Um, I unwrapped all these wires to the coil because they were really bulky. And I, I thought maybe they had been spliced back together, but no, it was just a big wad of tape. <sighs> so if that tells us anything, um, I didn't track, I don't see that wire going back up. Unless in here, open the rest of this harness, possibly this wire splices off to a solid purple wire. I've got a purple and black, a solid purple, a purple and white, a white, and it looks like a brown and yellow. And this is for the, the throttle body up here. <sighs> 